Bom. E finish with hopefully my hand raised. And everybody say a knockout submission. I'm going there with the mindset to fight five rounds. Alex, welcome to TNT Sports. How are you? Obrigado. Thank you. I'm very good. Before I talk about the fight at the weekend, I've got a bone to pick with you. You came to London recently. You didn't come and see us. We were a little busy. We went there for, to do some work. Couldn't do it, but next time for sure. Cold. Yeah. It was a little bit cold. Uh, Not too cold compared to Connecticut, so he's used to it. Before we talk about UFC 300, what were you doing at UFC 100? 2009 is actually the prep day that I started with martial arts. The UFC was not, I can't say that was the direct inspiration for me because I didn't watch the UFC. Everybody know the reason that I start training, but yeah, same year, mark the year that I start training. What does it mean to you now, being in the UFC and headlining such a major event with so many stars at the weekend? Não, significa muito para mim, né? Sair de onde eu saí. Né? Well, it means a lot for me to be able to be part of such a great big event like this, and now so to use this to display to people, even me, me coming from humble beginnings, they have fought so much to get here, been through all, to be able to show other people that to not give up on their dreams. That if I if I made this far, they can make too. To not give up. Now so means that I'm doing good, and I can provide better for me, my family, and take care of everybody around me. Your, your journey into martial arts, initially, it's an, it's an unbelievable tale of why you take up kickboxing. When you look back at the person before martial arts, what would this person in front of me say to that person? Well, what, I'll say the same thing that I can say to anybody that's come from a humble beginning, that has been struggling, that been through what I did before. You know what I mean? I use that to inspire, I'll say that I'll use that devices to make him become a better person like I became a better person. To go through adversity that everything is possible. To go on the journey that you've gone on to, to this point has been pretty remarkable and the, the journey that you've had within the UFC has been pretty remarkable as well. Already a, a two-weight world champion and could be the first person for the last three years to defend a light heavyweight championship. How, is, how important is that to you, to be able to win the championship, but also to defend it against a top contender like Jamal? Well, it's very important for me to defend this belt and to keep it defending, you know what I mean? People sometimes say how many defenses, how many, like there's no limit for that. As long as the body's feeling good, the body's responding well, gonna keep going, you know what I mean? There's no limit for many defenses. It's very important for me to defend this title. You're already starting to enter the conversation as one of the greatest it, that has ever been in the UFC. To solidify that, does three weights, is that attractive to you? First of all, when it comes to conversation of greatest of all time, I don't like to place myself nowhere because it's not me to say that, it should be defense. I can place myself anywhere, but then not defense one, not the organization one, not the rank is one, I'll be frustrated. So that's not a conversation for me to have. And as far as, three division champ, third belt, the same way that happened in the middleweight division. I told everybody, when people ask, are oh, you going up to light heavyweight? I gotta listen to my body. When my body tells me that I gotta go up, that it's harder to make this weight class, it's healthier for me to be fighting up, I'll move up. Same for the heavyweight division. I'm gonna keep list listening to my body for the light heavyweight, I'll be feeling good right now. When my body tells me that it's time for me to move up, I'm gonna move up. What challenges do you face this weekend against Jamal? It's a great challenge. He's a former champion. He's aggressive. He's strong. But I know the type of challenge. I'm, I'm aware of the type of challenge that I'm facing. Is it the toughest challenge so far in your career? Uh, for me, uh, Biggest challenge for me is always my next fight. And everything that comes together for fight week, for an example, for here, people think they just come here and just go and fight. But no, so look at how many media obligations that we have to do everything that we have to do, that is already a toll on us, right? And then plus, going fighting a very tough guy on Saturday night that's trying to take the belt, you know what I mean? He's trying to become a champ. So that alone is already hard. Maybe if you go and ask me another time, oh, what was the toughest fight that you ever had before? And maybe he's gonna go and name another opponent, he don't know, but for him, always the toughest fight is the next one. How does Saturday night finish? Bom, 
he finished with you know, hopefully my hand raised. And everybody say a knockout submission. I'm going there with the mindset to fight five rounds. If anything else happened on that meantime, better. But uh, my mindset's going over there to go and fight five rounds. Good luck.